guys so it is tuesday um tuesday the 15th yes tuesday the 15th 7 30 in the morning and obviously you guys know where i'm headed to so i haven't been vlogging in a couple days um and the main reason for that is because i was away at camp this past weekend um i told you guys before i was attending a camp for um what do you call that for for uh, kids who are grieving who've lost a parent uh, it's like a volunteer thing uh, it's called comfort zone camp it's an amazing program probably one of the best things that I've ever done I mean and I mean that honestly uh, it was so profound uh, so moving uh, I never felt more support even though I wasn't there for myself I just never felt the amount of support that I've ever felt there in my life uh, the energy was so powerful it was it, it gave me goosebumps like it was it was so so eye-opening and just so awesome like I can't even like there's no really words to describe it so I'm trying to describe it right now there's like there's like no words to describe how amazing that camp is and was this past weekend um, I can't give away too much uh, do you know security issues and uh, you know I signed a non-disclosure act but all I can say is the activities the events the kids the volunteers the staff they were all amazing it was such an amazing weekend and I can't wait to do it again like I would love to do that over and over again um, just to be a part of that it's just so cool so um, today I have a couple things going on I'm gonna go out to Long Island New York to go visit my cousin uh, get a haircut, uh, some exciting things that are, might be happening at the end of the week that I still can't tell you because it's still a secret because I'm still not sure what's going on but it's exciting Oh! <clears throat> something in my throat While I'm on this road Yesterday, on the way back from the gym a car, I was going this way so and a car was going this way and I started seeing the car like slowly go like this and I thought it was just kind of like you know weaving a little bit and next thing you know it's like literally coming straight for me I had to like swerve to the right and hit the accelerator so hard just to make sure it didn't hit me if I didn't hit the accelerator I know for sure it would have hit my rear back corner it was so crazy and then it kept going and I almost the other cars behind me I don't know if the guy fell asleep it was it was like early at, um Late, late morning so I don't know what was going on but uh, I'm glad that nothing did happen and I hope that guy I don't know whatever he was going through or whatever happened to him that made him swerve like that uh, I hope he's okay um, but that scared the shit out of me like I was shook after that like he the J was coming at least like 40 miles an hour that would have been bad um, all right yeah so yeah I wanted to vlog that yesterday but since I didn't pick up the camera I decided to not vlog it anyway I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so that was a good workout in terms of cardio. I didn't really get the intensity that I wanted to um, for my lifting. I was doing shoulders today, uh, mainly because I'm on a time crunch and I didn't get to the gym uh, as early as I wanted to. So, but uh, I have to get a haircut and then head out to Long Island. I don't have that much time, so I gotta get that done first. I got here about eight minutes before the shop opens. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm looking for I just hope there's no appointments. It's Tuesday, but there's appointments that I gotta wait a little bit. Um, but there's about one minute left before the shop opens, so I'm probably gonna head down there and just hopefully they're open and be the first one. So I can get out of here and get ready. Alright, let's go check it out. It feel like VA or the Bay or Yay. Hey, this is the good life. Just got out of the barbershop, fresh cut on deck, super stoked. It's always good kicking it with these guys at the barbershop, man. Like if any guys out there have never gotten a cut at a barbershop, you are not doing it right. Unless you're going to like a legit high-end salon. But if you're going to a super cut or even a salon in a mall, like you're not doing it right, man. You gotta go to a barbershop. Alright, so I headed out to uh, Long Island to visit my cousin. Earlier when I checked um, Google Maps, it said that it would take like an hour and a half. Uh, that's probably because of all the traffic and shit. But now it's saying an hour, so I might get there a little bit early because I meet him at uh, noon. Um, says I'm gonna be there by 11:40, so uh, hopefully he's ready. I just uh, texted him, so then I'll give a heads up. I will see you guys. In a
than it is I was splurging on trips But when I get my car back activated I'm back to Vegas Cause I always had a passion for flashing Before I had it I closed my eyes and imagined the good life Headed back home. Uh, as you saw, I just got done having lunch with my cousin. It's a really good time. Haven't seen him since Carter's first birthday, so that's almost a year ago. Uh, had a lot of catching up to do. I feel like we just got to know each other. Uh, it's always a good time with, with him. Uh, anyway, it's three o'clock. Headed back home. I feel like I'll be home in about 45 minutes. I may be missing a lot of traffic, which is great. I still have to make my laundry and. Um, hold on. And uh, drop by the tailor to uh, get a button fix on the basement. Just leaving the tailors. Uh, guy there, his name is Zach, one of the coolest guys I've ever met. Uh, he comes from a long line of tailors uh, from Turkey, uh, and half his shop is also like a comic book shop. So he like buys and sells comic books, and uh, action figure toys, and pop toys, and all that stuff. Like that's his real passion. But anytime I go in there, we always get these deep conversations about like politics and religion. Uh, today was about racism. Um, a really cool guy, and also I needed um, a button sewn back onto my blazer. I mean, it's it's, mini, it's like a mini thing, but like, you know, I expected to be charged for it, but he, he didn't charge me. He was like, yeah, give me a high five, man, no problem. So, you know, that's always cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... He is actually planning to move down the street to open up a purely, um, like, comic book shop with, like, video games and action figures. And he's gonna have like, you know, like uh, uh, video game tournaments and all that stuff. So he's gonna cut out the tailoring because he's not making too much money around this neighborhood. Because people around this neighborhood don't really appreciate like good tailor. Oh, my battery's dying. I'm gonna finish the story up when I get struck. I feel like I've been moving nonstop today. And I know I said I was gonna, I know my battery cut out, and that I was gonna continue my conversation, but honestly, I forgot what we were talking about. And because it's my GoPro I'm vlogging off of, I can't really replay it unless I log into the app. I really don't feel like doing that right now. But um, yeah. So I feel like I said I feel like I've been like on the go nonstop today. And then I woke up, and also I think I got sunburnt while I was at camp this weekend. Like the sun was strong, but it wasn't hot. I think I got a little bit burnt. Not like severe burnt, obviously, but I'm peeling on my nose. It's not weird. Anyway, I am headed back to the gym for a second round of cardio. I still have a ton of energy. All right, so I'm making a pit stop at Staples because I just got an email and I got to print something out uh, in preparation for Thursday, and then I'll head to the gym. There is nothing like a good sweat. Let me tell you, I cannot wait to get home and eat. I hope they are ready. I think my sister's cooking chicken adobo tonight. Um, she's been a really good cook. I mean, granted, she's following a family recipe. Not our family, but Charles' family. And Charles' mom is a really good cook, so is his dad. And she handed the recipes over, and she's been doing a good job. I, on the other hand, I've not been doing a good job in drinking a gallon of water a day. Uh, this is not going on two and a half days. And I'm 
probably a quarter of the way down. I used to be able to like drink a lot. It takes a while to get back used to drinking a lot of water. Um, but once you do, it's really good for you. You should. Water is like. I'm blabbing. <laughs> I'll just see you guys when I get home. Look at this vintage Rolls Royce. Pretty cool. Welcome to the good life where we like the girls who make.